How's everybody doing? I wanted to make a quick video here talking about this well system. I thought it was cool when I opened the door. What they're using to keep this thing from freezing in the wintertime is an old school like kerosene lantern. I thought that was neat. Now the reason for the video is I had a comment someone was talking about their uh, their breaker kept tripping. Now a breaker can trip for two reasons. Now either your pump can be dead and it can be locked up and that will trip your breaker. A way to tell that if you don't have an amp meter, if you had an amp meter you can clamp around just one of your wires here and it should go upwards of 20 to 30 amps and then flip the breaker um, if it is a 240 volt system. Now a way to test at home is since your breaker is tripped you would come to your pressure switch and you would disconnect your wires coming from the house. So disconnect your wires and then turn the breaker back on. Now, if the, if it tri or I'm sorry, since this is all out here, it makes sense for me to say it like that. But most of the times the tank is under the house and then the well is out in the field. So go out to the well, disconnect the wire nuts at the top of the well and just leave them hanging, don't have them connected to anything, go back in the house, turn your breaker on. If your breaker stays on, then that means it's down in the well, it would be your pump. Now if you disconnect your wires and the breaker still trips, then that means the wire that's in the ground from the house to the well is bad. It has a short in it, a cut, whatever, somewhere. Um, that's that's uh, the easiest way to diagnose it um, if you did have a breaker that's tripping to let you know if it's the wire in the ground or if it's the pump um so that's about it thank y'all